Hey everybody, Will here from EduCenter and today we're going to be taking a look at the insides of the Lenovo 14e. Now this Chromebook came out at about the end of May of this year, 2019, and check out my other review on the Lenovo 14e. We use it here at our school for the fifth grade students and so far it's been good, but I thought it might be helpful to take a look at the inside of these just to see how easily they can be repaired. But before we do that, if you go on to enjoy today's video, please make sure you hit that like button and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can always get the latest content from EduCenter. All right, to open up the 14E, you need to unscrew all nine of these screws on the back plate. They do not fully come out. Instead, they lock into place so you don't lose them. Once you've done that, you're going to locate the crease on the edge while having the Chromebook flipped upside down and use your pry tool to open it. Here we can see the massive 4,000 milliamp hour battery, as well as the motherboard, speakers, and the connection, side connection panel there. Now the motherboard is cool. You can see that metal substance there has a little bit of liquid inside of it and will heat up and evaporate to dissipate the heat in there. To remove the motherboard, you must remove the battery. We can see here that there's not as many screws that are used, but it is a little bit interesting to see that to re or replace the keyboard, you are going to have to completely remove every single component within the Chromebook itself. Now to reassemble it, we'll start with the motherboard. And the biggest issue here is trying to get all the screws correctly into place. So use a strategic setup when you are pulling those screws out. Lenovo also does a great job of marking where the screws go with an arrow and what type of screw it actually is. Make sure you put the motherboard in and then put in the battery after that. It has to go in that order. Screwing everything down can be a little challenging if you forgot where some of the screws go, but uh, again, just having a strategic setup when you pull those out will solve that problem. Make sure you do get everything connected. And I did find to power on the Chromebook, once you've disconnected the battery, you'll actually have to plug it into a power source first to get that done. Make sure you push it all down together and then screw all those screws back in and you're good to go. All right, so that was the teardown on the 14E. Just some of my initial thoughts. Replacing keyboards on these are going to be a real pain to do because you're going to have to rip out all of the internals for it. And then with your new keyboard, make sure all of those get put back into place. Um, that makes me a little concerned. Thankfully, we haven't had any keyboard failures yet, but I know it's going to come down the line just knowing how Lenovo products are. Uh, this actually was very reminiscent to how you open up the ThinkPad lines now where you have to just pop off the back and everything's plastered to the keyboard there. Uh, in terms of like, am I going to be repairing these? I'm not so sure I'm going to do that. This might be the first Chromebook that I will ship out to Lenovo Warranty Center um, just to get those repairs done. Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Do you th think these things are going to be easily repaired? Do you think the keyboards are going to fail or start failing soon on them? And if you like this kind of video, please let me know what you'd love to see me uh, break open next. And, and hey, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you hit that like button. And thanks for watching.